I tell you, I know I'm not blaming them, but I wish people who had super important jobs like hospitals and the, well, not the police, but, you know, attorneys, nurses could just make your job of finding your fucking mother easier. I understand they can't give me names and phone numbers. Okay, not phone numbers, but names. Anyway, so I thought about it after that third time calling San Leandro Kaiser. And he then transfers me to Hayward Kaiser. No wonder why they can't find her. These idiots can't even tell me. Okay, let me back up. So the guy in Hayward, I'm like, I don't understand. The public defender, public guardian, and the public guardian is who gets in charge of our parents or um, other types of people as well. <sighs> when there's no family members in the immediate area of my mother. That's why she has a public guardian, because I'm not in California to take care of my mother's papers and stuff. I just found that out from the lawyer. Yeah, so the guy calls me back, says we only have on the list your somebody named Patricia Macias and her lawyer, uh, Roger Spencer. So, okay, so now I'm Googling Roger Spencer. Well, now it's John Plain, and I'm, well, when did Roger retire? Six months ago. How is he on my mom's paperwork? Because this just happened on August 31st. Okay, it might have happened a day or two before August 31st. I didn't get her, the public guardian's email until August 31st. But still, John Spencer, I mean, Roger retired back in uh march i don't know i don't get that part but anyway so john plain attorney thank god uh anyway long story short he um told me that now mother's back in the convalescent home fuck me i hate that convalescent home they treat my mother like shit so she's back in the convalescent home. The hospice nurse goes to see my mother every two days or so. <sighs> That's a far cry from fucking being in hospice in San Leandro, California, bitch. I mean, come on. This is your job. Get the story straight. It's frustrating enough. <sighs> so... At least I had a nice long chat with R attorney John Plain, who's the public defender lawyer for general conservatorship over people like my mother. Oh, God. They sent me something to my Gilroy address in 2019. Our system. I mean, you know, we've come so far to still be so antiquated. And, you know, I just might put in, a, see if I could put in another change of address from that Gilroy address because apparently other people tried to send me that shit there too. Anyway, it don't matter now because he's got my address and phone number shit, but you know, any, I'm going to try that, see if it works. <sighs> I just, you know, you just wish you could be in a helicopter up in the sky and see where all the pieces, you know, attach themselves and how, and well, how did, I mean, my sister, I haven't talked to her in a hundred years and she changes her telephone, her cell phone number, like she changed her draws. How did they, somebody talk to her? But they didn't talk to my other sister, Brenna, who's still in, I think she's still in Fremont, California, which is pretty close to uh, the area where the convalescent home is. I don't, I don't get it. All these dots aren't 
you know, going uh, line to line, you know, that game dot to dot, and then the picture forms. Yeah. I hope and pray that most people in the world do not have this shit to go through because of a couple of misused words I just went around the whole fucking world for nothing because I'm thinking like this this is your job every day to write to people and say hey boo boo your mother's over here but you couldn't say she's in she went to the hospital and now she's back at the convalescent home I told you she was in three weeks ago in Hayward, California. <sighs> Such a mess. No wonder why they can't find Edith Harris. So I'm t I'm expressing to him, you know, I'm not trying to take my world shit out on you. I just want to make sure if my mother's dead or alive, could you connect me to the morgue? Something. You know? And then I'm tripping on why Hayward, California would have the same main phone number, same 800 phone number as uh, Kaiser in, 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 in San Leandro. Okay, I could kind of understand. But <laughs> then I'm like, well, why couldn't you tell me I'm transferring you to Hayward, California hospice, Tasha? We don't have a hospice something. I don't know. Don't fucking sit here and let me just think I'm going crazy. And you know, you know, already I explained to you the first four times I fucking call. I'm looking for my mother. I just want to know if she's dead or alive. And you see, you know, you know, you understand anybody that calls a hospital. Generally, I'm assuming is going to be frustrated because they call in the hospital. Let me transfer you here, Tasha. Why are you transferring me to Hayward? Because we don't have a hospice here or something. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> you know, and even if I go there, I mean, even the lawyer said, oh. <sighs> He has to do the face-to-face -face thing with the hospice person when they go visit my mother, you know, because the COVID thing. Nobody's, they don't even let the attorneys in. So I wish all of you would stop fucking telling me, just go there, just go there. Well, let me have your credit card so I can catch that $400 plane flight there. Oh, and then I'm going to need money for Uber and then I'm going to need money for a hotel. And then I'm going to need money for, um, another Uber to go back and forth between the hotel and my mom and get something to eat so I can fucking calm my nerves for the past three days. I've been in bed because anytime I eat anything, it just turns to diarrhea. Okay. Thanks for letting me vent. Okay. It's going to be all right. I mean, I know she's going to die. We're all going to die eventually or, you know, transform into something else. I just, I just want to know the story. I just want to know the fucking story. <sighs> okay. Thanks for letting me vent. <sighs> 